and it tastes very different. Oh, is it an actual martini? <laughs> stop, <come> stop! <laughs> Ciao ragazzi and welcome back to the channel. We're in front of Battersea Power Station, right behind me, which is a true icon of British engineering and design. And it's now a high-end shopping mall, but it used to be a power station. It was constructed in the, there's a little dog there. It was constructed in the 1930s. At the time, it was the biggest brick building in Europe and it provided one fifth of London's power supply. And it provided the power for places like Carnaby Street and Soho, so central London. It was, however, decommissioned in the 1980s. And then after that, it was like fell into ruin and disrepair and then recently a lot of Malaysian investors invested into it and it's been converted into a very high-end shopping mall and also a very luxury apartment complex all around so it has a bunch of fancy restaurants and cocktail places and we're gonna go inside we're gonna do some shopping we're gonna get some extremely good cocktails in one of the old control rooms of the power station and then we're also gonna go for some grub but let's go So we're off to do some shopping, mainly for me. I need to get an outfit for a wedding that we're going to in a few weeks. But the other thing I forgot to mention that I really like about this shopping mall is that it's dog friendly. So you'll see a bunch of pet owners around and if you're one of those pet owners and you're struggling to find spots that you can go to, especially when it's like raining in London, this is a great place to go because everywhere is dog friendly. So I think that's a great thing. I'm all for automation in almost all possible ways, but this I don't like because I really struggle getting the security fobs of the clothing. Thank you. Luckily we're getting some help. We finished our shopping. I didn't find anything for the wedding. I do already have an outfit for it, so it was just to see if I found something else. But Nat's got a few things and I'm actually gonna, you know, steal some of them sometimes. It's time for cocktails and actually we're gonna head to control room B right behind me which as the name suggests is really cool. It's like they repurposed the control room of the power station B, because in Battersea power station, there are actually two power stations, one on that side, number A, and this is number B. And so there's a really good cocktail bar inside the old control room, and they've kept all the sort of remote and everything, and we'll show you. So I really like the vibe also, because you can see the rest of the power station. And the other thing that I like is that they still kept some of them like old, part of the power station so you can see the crane there's a lift how they used to you know carry all the heavy weights within the power station and now it's obviously just there as like finishing touches and decor but I I don't know maybe it's just me I really like the vibe I like the finish I like the look so without further ado we're gonna go and get ourselves sure. some really nice cocktails I'll show you inside all the power station Thank you. Sitting by the controls, right? That's very cool. Got all the old pressurizers, alternators with the old light switches on. Basically, anyone that knows me knows that I celebrate this kind of stuff, like refurbishing and repurposing old venues. Maybe I'm just a geek like that, but I think this is rad. The fact that they have excellent cocktails is just the icing on the cake. So let's go. So we are here, as I said, there were two turbine holes in the Battersea Power Station and we're in turbine hall B and in the control room for the turbine hall B. Pretty cool. And here we go. Lots of excellent, excellent cocktails to be had. Yeah. It's very Christmassy music, don't you think? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I got round one. Um, I got the gas watch. Gas watch which is, um, I guess, similar to, as you know, my favorite drink is a Ponsa Martini. So this is also with passion fruit and peach, and you can see a beautiful peach and a flower there, and then loads of foam. This is actually vodka-based, though. I mean, as you can see, it's a gorgeous cocktail. Also, it's with thyme as well, so it's super, you know, fancy. I think it's one of the fanciest cocktails you can get in London. Why is the thyme there? Is that a trick question? Well, I think it's there for the, for the, for the smell. For the scent, before it goes in your mouth. But yeah, I really like this one. It's like very 
very sour and sweet at the same time and super refreshing. This is a really great drink, yeah. And we always get water to stay hydrated, so to balance out. So for each drink that you drink, you drink a glass of water. Yes. And then Natalie got this mighty thing. This is potent as, as shit, I want to say. So as you can see, it's in a very interesting tumbler. It's like only this high. This is called burning the midnight oil. And you know, that's a great name for this drink given that it's charcoal black. And I can't remember what it's, I think the base is like Jägermeister or something like that, correct? Well, it's some strong, strong liquor at the bottom. And then this on top here, champagne foam. The interesting thing about this cocktail was that this was the first cocktail we ordered, but it was Julia's order. She wasn't too impressed with this, but when I tasted it, it's so it's just strong, but it's fragrant, delicious. But for me, the most impressive thing is the foam because it says champagne foam, but it's more, it's almost, it reminds me almost of marshmallow. Julia thinks it's gelatinized. Yeah. It's very interesting. I'm gonna just take a swig, see if I still don't love it. Burning the midnight oil, cheers. That's potent as shit. That's really strong. I'm gonna stick to my light and fresh and fruity one. Time lapse coming in three, two, one. that the other thing that's really cool about the shopping mall is that they have two movie theaters so there's a cinema in here and there's a cinema just outside which is also really cool because basically you can effectively spend your entire afternoon or evening here if you live in South London and you don't have to go to Central to do anything so you can come here you can do any shopping that you need to do they also have supermarkets you can have drinks, really good cocktails actually. You can have food, which we're gonna go for food in a little while. And you can go for movies. So, so this is, is this a pond martini? So that's the passion fruit. Yeah, okay. Martini. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I got uh, for round two, I got passion fruit martini. So like, I guess it's not a pond martini. It looks very different. So I don't know my drink anyway, but it's not what I normally get. It looks different. It tastes very different. Oh, is it an actual martini? <laughs> so it's corn star. Give it a go if you want. I'm gonna try that piece yeah, instead. Yeah. What's it's this? It has a lot of watercress. It looks it's like cold. I have a little bit of cilantro on top of my cocktail. It's 66,000 volts. I asked for something fruity and uplifting. I don't like that either. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna see if Nancy likes either. I can't drink that, by the way. It's just very strong. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Do you like it? Yes, it's but food. you are a lot more sensitive to the bitterness of anything that we have in general. That's because I think you have a bit of a sweet tooth. I think if you... And that's an understatement. I'm a mega sweet tooth. I quite like that. It's like a spiced fruit juice. Is that good or bad? It's it's very light. It's it's very light. So maybe something's wrong with me right now. But to me, this is smooth, easy drinking. It's it's. I think this is very dangerous. If you come here and you drink that first, you'll think. The top of what you normally get, which is very interesting, the chili tequila drink, which we're not going to get today. If, they, if people come here, what should they order? Oh, it's tequila. one called. I think it's called the smokestack. That is a tequila, white tequila. I don't. It's got um, we'll it chili, around. corn liqueur. Corn liqueur is actually a thing, and I'd never heard of it before. So. I think we should explore corn liqueur cocktails in general. So we're going to enjoy these now. I'm going to put the time lapse on, but. If you want us to make cocktails at home, then drop a comment down below and give this video a like. I am actually decent at making cocktails at home. So if you want to see us make cocktails at home, yeah, let me know down below.
So this is round three, Natalie ordered a gas wash, so the first drink that I ordered. I think that was the winner today. I made a mistake with the passion fruit martini because I ordered a passion fruit martini. So in fairness, Sophie did nothing wrong. I made a mistake because what I wanted was a porn star martini, which is a totally different drink and is a lot sweeter. But Natalie helped me out. We actually swapped drinks and I'm gonna finish the rest of this so she can have the one she actually wants. I wasn't a fan of the last two, but I also am a harsh critic with cocktails, I have to say. I just like what I like. If you come here, the gas wash is my favorite cocktail and I think you'll really enjoy it. I don't know anyone that doesn't like that one, no matter what your preference is. So we'll finish off our final round, get the bill, and then once you had three cocktails, you know what has to follow. We have to get some food. So we're gonna be hitting up a new spot that neither of us have ever tried before, which is Rosy King. Are you trying to cheers me? Sorry, love. We had five cocktails and a bottle of sparkling water. With the service charge, which has increased in London and probably all throughout Europe because of inflation, it's 81 pounds. So by no means cheap, but as I said, Battersea Power Station is a luxury shopping mall and this place has excellent cocktails. I mean, that's London for you, really. Cocktails all down. I wanted to show you as well. As I said, there's two cinemas and one's right up here on the third floor. Pretty cool. We're off for food. We're trying to find it. We don't know where it is. So this is on the left side of Battersea Power Station, so on the control room, like A side, so the opposite side of where we were now. And you can actually pay for an admission. I'm not going to do that today because it's really quite expensive, 23 pounds. But then you can go inside. It's a little bit like a museum, you'd say. You can see how the old reactors used to work in the power station and you can like play around with some of them. But uh, yeah, it's cool because it's also right on top of the rest of the shop. And just by the main entrance when you come in, you can see the old actual reactor. Pretty cool that they've just left. I picked up this one and we got the goods. And now we're headed out of Butters Power Station just to the new complex. As I said, it's the whole new development. That's where all the restaurants are. And I believe the restaurant is right next to a brewery. Let me show you the scenes around here. It's really nice next to the Rural Thames. And I'll see you at the place. We made it to Royalty King. Like I said, we haven't been here before ever, so we're trying it for the first time. It's a Malaysian food kitchen. We're gonna go for the mutton roti chennai. So it's basically, as the name would suggest, we're obviously getting roti comes with the side of like a mutton curry. And then the second thing we're getting is egg noodles with egg and chicken and prawns and peanuts. So it sounds like a Malaysian version of maybe the pad thai you'd get in Thailand or something similar. First dish just arrived, the mutton and the roti. I mean, look at this roti. It's super flaky and nice and hot, super soft. I love a good roti. It's actually my favorite Indian bread. And then a nice mutton curry sauce. Give it a taste test. I know that was super messy. Great. That is fantastic. We're just underneath the train tracks at Battersea Power Station. Apologies for the noise, but you can taste the cinnamon and the cloves in that curry. It's really, really good. Very excited to dig in, share this, and then have the noodles next. Got our, what is it called? Mi goreng here, so second dish. Egg noodles with prawns, chicken, egg, and tofu. So I guess it's like the Malaysian version of pad thai, except for egg noodles rather than rice. And it comes with some chili and lemon on top. Adding some lemon. Mm. I like it. It's not as good as the curry, but it's good. It's just different. Oh, and now I feel the spice kick just now. Let's see how spicy the noodles are. Can you see the steam? Couldn't come to Roti King without a final roti. So this is the banana roti, pisang it's called. Natalie taught me just now that in Afrikaans, pisang means banana. So roti bread filled with banana. See, ooh, yeah, you can see it. Enjoy this. 
I really enjoyed the mutton. I would highly recommend Royalty King just for the mutton alone and their royalty. Obviously, it's in the name. There is a helicopter. <laughs> I really like the dessert roti as well. I actually think, even though I love sweet stuff, that the normal roti, just the flaky roti that comes with the main is better. Do yourself a favor, check out Roti King and just get two of the curries with the roti. I wouldn't bother with the noodles. It's not my favorite. And as you can see, the sun's come out, so we're gonna probably enjoy the sun a little bit. Have a lovely day further. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked the insight into what is Battersea Power Station like, and maybe give it a try if you fancy some fancy cocktails someday. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment what cocktail is your favorite cocktail down below.